I'm Emmy Hall from Roadfly TV, and I'm here with Bill Oberlin. He's a factory works driver for BMW, racing out here at the Baltimore Grand Prix. Now we've got this M3 here. So there's a lot of technology that goes from the race car to the street car and vice versa. So what are some of the things that I can find on the street car that you've got here in your race car? Well, technology is always driven at the highest forms of motorsport, and BMW has always competed at the highest forms of motorsport. So when you're at that high level, the technology comes first under my foot and then goes straight into your road car, and that's very difficult for the competing car manufacturers to keep up with. Um, ABS systems, which we're not allowed to use in other forms of our racing, we do. Very high-tech innovations with ABS, with traction control, launch controls, dynamic stability controls, where you go into a corner and the car starts to get sideways and the brakes start to crap. And it, the car knows where you're trying to steer it, knows what you want to do, and will try to achieve that through grabbing each brake individually and driving the car into that corner. First it starts here, and within months or up to less than a year, it will be in your road car on, on the street. So that's a super quick turnaround. Uh, it's it's imme immediate, because it's a lot of it's now, the, the systems are integrated in your car, it's all software driven. So what our engineers and scientists at BMW can dream up at night, I say they never sleep, because it's like <laughs> they dream up an idea, and it will be under my foot within the next race, and I'll be already uh, engineering or coming up with how to make it better and better and better, and then within the year it goes into the car. So basically, if I, buy, if I buy an M3 today, I've got the race car that you had just last year. Well, you you have better, a little bit better. We're not allowed to have the dual clutch uh, shifting transmission. Oh. That's too high tech for what we're allowed to use in racing. That's faster shifting than we can have. So in, in a lot of ways, the street car's better, but in all out lap time, this one's a little bit better because it's a little more on steroids, a little bit bigger tire wings, a little more aerodynamics. You don't want to have that kind of lack of comfort in your street car, but uh, it's the ultimate compromise in your street car. Well, I don't know. I mean, I, I, as far as I'm concerned, I'll just throw practicality to the wind if it means I'm going to get me some more speed. And you will. You sit in this thing and it will pull your face back. <laughs> it's a lot of handling. The braking's amazing and it's all generated from the race car and then it heads downstream. That's so great. Thank you so much, Bill, for spending some time with us. Good luck today. I know you're going to kill it. Hammer down. Thank you very much. Thank you.